Collecting semen from the boar is needed to begin an artificial insemination program. Producers who collect semen infrequently may find the greatest convenience in simply collecting the boar after mounting a standing female, but producers with greater breeding demands and a regular collection schedule may likely want to build a permanent on-farm collection pen and mounting dummy. The design of the collection pen may vary greatly according to farm type and producer needs, but must always be constructed with boar and human comfort and safety in mind. The first step will be deciding the proper location of the semen collection area on the farm. The semen collection pen should be an enclosed pen within close walking distance of the boar's permanent housing, but not so far that the boar becomes tired or distracted while walking to the pen. Collecting the boar in a designated collection pen, as opposed to in his permanent housing, is preferred because the boar will learn to associate the walk to the collection area with the positive aspects of mounting and ejaculation. The collection area should also be separated from other pigs by a visual barrier to reduce distractions during collection, as evidenced by the solid wall partition seen in this picture. It is also important that the collection area be used for collecting purposes only. No feeding, housing of other pigs, or drug or vaccine administration should occur in this pen. Finally, it is best to maintain some degree of climate control in the collection pen. Semen is very sensitive to cold shock immediately after ejaculation, and the rapid and drastic change from the hot internal body temperature to cold air will kill sperm cells and decrease the fertility of any semen used in AI. In the same respect, heat stress is known to lessen the boar's libido and reduce his willingness to mount the dummy. An appropriate temperature range for the collection pen is therefore about 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Producers collecting boars outdoors can use shade and wind blocks to keep the collection area close to the desired temperature range during the summer and winter, but supplemental heating and cooling provisions may also be required. This example diagram, published by the U.S. Pork Center of Excellence, shows the basic layout of a good boar collection area. In the example, the collection pen measures 9 feet in length by 8 feet in width for a total area of 72 square feet. This amount of space is recommended because it allows the boar some freedom of movement but also keeps his attention focused on the task at hand. Some producers may find that a smaller pen size of about 50 square feet may work better when collecting young or smaller breed boars. You'll also note that the mounting dummy is placed directly in front of the entry gate such that it is the first thing that the boar sees when entering the pen. The dummy itself may be constructed at home or purchased commercially. These pictures represent some common dummies that may be purchased and may also serve as a basis from which to design a dummy at home. Links to basic dummy construction plans are also included in the video description below. The dummy must be well mounted to the floor and strong and secure enough to support the weight of an adult boar. A good size for the collection dummy is 3 to 5 feet in length by slightly less than 1 foot in width. Proper dummy height is 1.5 to 2.5 feet tall and ideally should be adjustable to accommodate boars of different ages and sizes. Front leg stirrups will also help the boar to maintain position during the long ejaculation process. The dummy must have no sharp edges and be covered with rubber or canvas to promote boar comfort. Covering the dummy with a strip of carpet is not recommended as carpets can be difficult to clean and will harbor bacteria and diseases. Additionally, a 3-5 to five foot piece of rubber matting or a wooden plank with toe boards placed directly behind the dummy will help the boar maintain good footing when mounting and throughout collection. Human escape areas in the collection pen are also important, and these can be seen in the highlighted areas in the diagram and in the background of the inserted video clip. Aggression is an undesirable side effect of testosterone-driven sexual behaviors, and hostile boars may jeopardize the safety of the collecting technician. The escape areas in this diagram are constructed of 2 inch diameter pipe, measuring approximately 3.5 feet in height and spaced roughly 12 inches from center. This provides 10 inches of open space for the human to escape through, but the adult boar will be too large to follow. And finally, here are a few remaining tips that may be useful to keep in mind when constructing a semen collection pen. Provide good lighting in the collection area to prevent the boar from balking at shadows and delaying the time to mounting. Also, place the dummy on level ground to allow for good footing. If a very slight slope cannot be avoided, it's best to angle the dummy such that the boar will face downhill and rest comfortably. Boars mounting at an incline will have to support their weight throughout the entire process and may begin to tire before ejaculation is complete. But remember, anything other than a very slight slope should disqualify a location from consideration as a collection pen. 
Also, the collecting area and mounting dummy must be able to be cleaned easily and regularly, particularly if the farm collects multiple boars. And finally, locate the collection area as close as possible to where the semen will ultimately be extended and stored. Semen quality decreases quickly and so should be processed within 10 to 15 minutes after collection to ensure optimal fertility. More information on semen collection techniques and processing procedures are covered in other videos. In summary, producers with a regular semen collection schedule may first want to construct a collecting pen, and this may be done fairly easily on the farm. The best collection pens will be those that are correctly designed with both bore and human comfort, welfare, and safety in mind.